Nebanja says that the government is tired of blackmail and endless strikes, yet it has done enough to enhance the emoluments of the health workers. This follows reports of a planned strike by nurses over pay. And of course, because of lack of salaries, we thought we would lay them out. Laying them off. <laughs> when they are these ones who are struggling, let them go and do other things. We shall, we shall fill their vacancies. Nambanja has instructed the Public Service Commission, Resident City and District Commissioners to immediately supervise government facilities to ascertain those on duty and whoever is absent shall have been deemed to have absconded. It's not a wise, a wise decision for you to go on strike because this time around, government is not ready. I repeat, we are not ready to to entertain this black male. We have enhanced your salaries and we have done all that it takes amidst a lot of challenges. And I want to direct the RDCs, Minister of Public Service, the district service commissions and the district leaders. If these ones want to go on strike, let them go. But we shall fill those vacancies as soon as, as possible. The Holy Mass was celebrated by the Bishop of Hoima Catholic Diocese, Right Reverend Vincent Cherabo, who asked Christians to renew their faith as they remember St. Andrea Kahwa. <laughs> Emmanuel Aliba, the National Executive Secretary of the Justice and Peace Commission in Uganda, says that the day is very instrumental because of the contribution of St. Andrea Kahua in the faith. <laughs> St. Andrea Kahua was born in 1856, May 26th. A Ugandan Catholic martyr killed for his faith. He was born in Kochi, Haivale, in the current Kakumera district. He was one of the many Christians put to death by King Mwanga II between 1885 and 1887. He was the King Mwanga's badmaster, General the Mugowa. Thousands of pilgrims thronged the shrine in Kochi to celebrate his life and also pray to him for God's mercy. Shaidat Nasaku, UBC News.